Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker and its teaser trailer debuted just a couple of days ago over at Star Wars Celebration Chicago, and it left a lot of people speechless as to what's gonna come by J.J. Abrams, the director and writer of this movie that will end the Skywalker saga. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, a lot of people often describe Star Wars The Force Awakens being a direct copy of Star Wars A New Hope, and a lot of people are very worried about J.J. Abrams using the same technique in, of course, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, and he was able to respond to this all thanks to, of course, Phantom Dango in a specific interview asking about The Force Awakens criticism, as well as how that may or may not tie into The Rise of Skywalker. He also talks about Carrie Fisher during Star Wars Celebration on stage, apart from Fandango, so we're going to be going over these two big answers on separate occasions here. So, the one from Fandango, speaking about the criticism of, of course, The Force Awakens, and lightly talking about the rise of Skywalker. He states, We have gotten a lot of flack from people, for people, saying, oh, Force Awakens was just a remake of A New Hope. You know, while that was something that was obviously never the intention, it was it was about introducing new characters, using the old, and there's a natural sense in any hero's journey, of certain tenants that will come to play. We very much wanted to make sure that we were somehow not inadvertently being so influenced by one thing. However, the job of the film is to be the end of nine films, so we can't ignore the fact that we come from episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So it wasn't about saying, let's just choose that one, let's do a riff on that. It was more, how do these stories culminate? and that was our job. Now over at Star Wars Celebration, he talked a little bit more about the rise of Skywalker and of course Carrie Fisher's performance as of course General Leia returning in this movie and this is what he had to say at Celebration apart from the Fandango interview. He states, but I will say this, that as with The Force Awakens and for this one, what we tried to do despite the epic space adventure that takes place on many worlds and many places, that we did everything we could building sets, interior and exterior, going to locations and other places. As for Carrie Fisher for episode 9, we all just loved Carrie, it was impossible. There was no way for Leia, what are you gonna do, recast that part? And you don't suddenly have her disappear. The weird miracle of having had a number of scenes from Force Awakens that had gone unused, looking at those scenes and starting to understand that there is actually a way to use those scenes to continue her story, so that, would, so that it would be her. The idea of having a CG character was off the table, we never wanted to try and we never wanted to try with that idea, and then saying, what if we can actually write scenes around her? The crazy thing is, emotionally, it's so surreal that she is not here, but she's in the movie. So that's what J.J. Abrams had to say about, of course, the criticism going toward Episode 7 and whether or not it would actually have an effect or be treated in the same way for The Rise of Skywalker and, of course, how he touched on Carrie Fisher as General Leia. So, like I say, in that first interview, he does know about the criticism of Episode 7 and he has stated before in the past not too long ago that this movie, The Force, or should I say, The Rise of Skywalker, is not going to mimic The Force Awakens or use the same exact technique. This movie really is about doing something rather different that will end the entire Skywalker saga by borrowing many different elements from, of course, episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, this movie does have a lot going for it, and I'm really interested in what JJ had to say about Carrie Fisher, how they were really able, able to give her a significant scene or a significant story in this movie by use of scenes from The Force Awakens and even The Last Jedi. So, all of this sounds very inspiring from what JJ said. Uh, a lot of people have always wondered, does JJ even acknowledge the criticism of Episode 7 being, you know, pretty much a carbon copy of A New Hope? A lot of people would say this. Like I say, guys, uh, my take on that is that yes, it had a lot of similarities. Yes, it did have a trench run at the end of the movie. And yes, it did have a sphere that was a super weapon. But at the same exact time, there were some original elements to the story, such as, you know, Kylo Ren, Rey, and the new characters, where the backdrop of it all was loosely based off of A New Hope. 
So I would say that they could have made it more original, absolutely, while also keeping the old in there. But that's what JJ had to say, and in no way, shape, or form is the Rise of Skywalker going to be The Force Awakens 2.0, where it's going to be a direct carbon copy of whatever movie in the actual original trilogy. So, Carrie Fisher, guys, I cannot wait to see how she's going to be handled in this film. JJ, from what he said on stage over at Celebration, he's very confident in how they were able to pretty much, you know, go through all the different scenes in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi and give her a significant part in this movie. You know, originally Chris Terrio, or should I say, um, Colin Trevorrow, he wanted to give Carrie Fisher a significant role in this film. You know, both Luke and Leia having huge roles in Episode 9. So, we can see how J.J. is trying to really kind of pick up after that and implement that into this film. So, what do you guys think about all of this ranging from The Force Awakens criticism and its effect of, of, of course, on The Rise of Skywalker and how it won't really affect anything at all? And what he had to, and what he had to say about The Rise of Skywalker for, of course, the role of General Leia Organa. If you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.